Well, it's the Feast of St. Donatus. It's a carryover from Ripacondi, Italy. When the immigrants moved to Blue Island uh, at the turn of the century, the last century, um, they wanted to establish their own church here in Blue Island uh, for the patron St. Ripacondia, uh, San Donato, St. Donatus. The neighborhood built the church. This is actually the third church in the site, 1958. And the Italian community, um, even though there was a Polish church, St. Isidore, and a German church, uh, St. Benedict's, they wanted their own identity, their own uh, culture, their own tradition. So they started St. Donatus. And part of that is celebrating the feast day every August. Um, and we've been doing it for 113 years here in Blue Island. And, and part of that is bringing the saint out. And he would bless the houses of the parishioners once a year. They, they prayed him through the streets. So when they stop, usually a parishioner will ask for the saint to stop, and then the priest will come to the house, bless the house, um, and brings the saint to the house. The saint is supposed to bless the house, and it's a tradition. Usually there was a lot of stops along the way, um, and through the different blocks, through the neighborhoods, they'll stop in front of the house and you know bless the house, and that's the tr once a year we get to do that. I don't even remember when I got started. My grandparents, uh, when they came over from Italy, they, they got involved in the church um, in Blue Island here. And I uh, helped out in the, the kitchens as early as I can remember with my grandmother. My grandfather was always working in the, the booths with the other uh, Holy Name Society members, Sons of Italy members. And um, just worked my way up over the years, just stuck around. It's just part of me. I know every August I'm working St. Donatus. It's all volunteer, no vendors allowed over at St. Donatus. The carnival does their thing, all the food, the beer, the clams, everything is all volunteer run. All the food is made here, right here by volunteers, by the parishioners themselves. And uh, we're the only fest left in Chicagoland that's still run completely by the church. There's no vendors. There's not like a pizza place that comes in and does the pizza. Everything is made here in-house. So everything goes to the church. Everything goes to help the parish uh, maintain itself over the year. It was a good idea um, brought up by Alderman Kevin Donahue, uh, my fellow alderman. He's like, why don't we ever sell shirts? I said, well, we had shirts in the past. We never really sold them, though. We gave them out to volunteers. And so uh, in collaboration with him and uh, a business here right here in town, um, Dave Minetti, um, he's located over on James Street, James and Old Western, with the local Blue Island t-shirt shop, and he provided us a great discount, I believe at cost of t-shirts, and uh, drew up the, uh, the logo on the back of these shirts. And I think they are doing pretty good. They're selling pretty good, too. we got to keep the tradition going. Um, just uh, come on down. It's always usually the first weekend in August. Uh, next year, our dates are August 7th through the 11th, because the first Wednesday is actually the 7th. Um, so we're starting at August 7th through the 11th. And just come on down. It's a five-day festival. Come and have the homemade food. Come and see the procession. Come to the Mass. You know, enjoy yourselves. It's one of the last uh, uh, traditions we've had here in town for over 113 years. Uh -huh.